Good afternoon, our friends. It is another rainy day in South Florida, and we are still in the boatyard. I'm cleaning the hull, the ugly yellow stripe that we've told you guys about. We are using Barkeeper's Friend, and it's working so good. Way better than on off, no nasty fumes, doesn't burn your skin. And we just had our friend Jerry finish sanding the bottom. I got out of that one, thank goodness. And Billy's talking, you know, usual. Yeah, it's just got two bathrooms, three bedroom, and got a nice little kitchen, nice little living room, nice setup. Uh -huh. But it's not, a, it's not a big boat, you know? But yeah, it's compared new, to like this side. But it's really nice. It's like a party They got an ice maker. They got this nice big TV. Surround sound. Yeah. Sailboat, sailing cat? No, they got engine and everything. Oh, that's the grind. You don't like it out there. I got so much invites. Like people are working the boat. Oh, we're going to the bar. We're going to come. Oh, yeah, man. Wish you all the best. I ain't coming. Welcome back to our port side hull. We have, I have, sanded, fared, sanded, fared, sanded, taped, cleaned, vacuumed, vacuumed again, vacuumed again, and now we're almost finished with all of the taping areas. And it's almost time to paint. We're using this special plastic pad. I've never used before, but some guy here at the marina told us about it to clean running gear off because it won't grind into the metal. It'll get everything off. It's working really good. We had a bunch of blisters on our boat, uh, on our hull below the water line. And blisters are when water gets kind of through the bottom paint into the hull a little bit. And I'm not experts on blisters, but as far as I know, they're not that bad um, because they're not into the fiberglass, the actual structure of the boat. They're just kind of under the paint and into a little bit of the fairing compound. So we could do a whole, like strip the paint, grind out every single blister, do a whole fairing job on the boat, all that. Or we could just do what we're doing, which is kind of pop all of them, cut them all out, grind the big, big ones open, clean them really good, we let them dry for like a week, and just fair them in, and then just sand, sand them down the best we can. That's what we're gonna do. And it's bad on the inside of this hull. On the outside of this hull is not that bad. And then on the other hull, there's almost, almost none. Fair these, we'll let it cure for a couple days and then we'll just sand it down, then we'll barrier coat everything. Or not everything, we'll, we'll put a primer layer, a barrier coat on all the areas where we did some fairing. Um, and that's it. We'll see you on our next haul out in a year or two. Uh, maybe short or maybe longer. And we'll see what the haul looks like. Maybe we'll prepare then to do a full-on bottom job because on a sailboat to have your haul nice and 
fair with big long fairing boards and sanding boards um, really increases efficiency so we'll plan for that in the future but for now we want to go sailing just band-aiding every day. Some parts have only had one coat, but most parts have